I like thinking in games, and if you are someone who enjoys it too, whether in games or not, and on top of that you like planning, strategizing and combining things, then the upcoming Mega Loot is a simple but charming game for you. Let me show you why in a few minutes. Hello, I am Mardox and welcome to another indie game showcase where I help you find your next favorite game. Please, if you're gonna find this video interesting, don't forget to subscribe for more. Mega Loot, as the name suggests, is a game about loot, items, equipment and more. Specifically, it's an inventory management game. Based on the story, you find yourself in a magical tower located in unspecific universe. The tower can bring monsters and items from other universes and timelines. You are transferred to the tower in the same way. Well, better some explanation than none. In simple terms, you have to battle enemies in mystical tower dungeons to find a way to escape or hope to leave that place and return home. I didn't manage to do that because I was playing the demo of the game. At the beginning you have to choose one of four heroes with various skills and mechanics. You can then choose some perks and effects and lastly you can select a dungeon modifiers. Depending on your choices, you will get negative or positive changes to your percentage number. What it is? It increases or lowers how much money you will earn in the current run. You can't change it later, but it's up to player style to decide how much you care about these changes. Once you choose a starting setup, you hit begin, and your screen is separated in two minefields. On the right, you have enemies and possible actions like normal attacks, your character ability, skip, and convert. On the left, you have inventory and shop system. I will talk about fighting later, but let's focus now on the main dish of the game, the inventory management system. Well, uh, you see, you don't get experience from fights. So by managing your loot and equipment, you can boost your hero stats and help them survive longer. First of all, you should memorize what type of items you need for your hero and which items improve specific stats. Some items will boost your rough physical power and damage output of used weapons, while others focus on increasing magical power. Second, you can use only three types of classes of equipment. Remember that some equipment from shops or loot can have two classes. If you want to use the item from a different class than you are currently have, you obviously have to take off items from one class to use another. By paying coins at the shop, you can reset the current available items and see if there is something more interesting for you. Beware that with every reroll the price increases, but once you get to the next stage, the price will fall to a certain limit. Once you find the items you need, if they have matching colors you can combine them, that's the core mechanic. Items have different levels, and once you combine two same items of level 2, they will merge and become one item of level 3. To boost the same item to level 4, you have to repeat the process. But what if you have only two items of level 1, simply combine them to level 2, then repeat the process until they reach the level 3, and then jump to level 4, as you originally wanted. This way, your inventory gets better and better, giving you proper benefits. Unwanted items can be sold, but combining items are worth more, so it's also beneficial to collect unwanted loot for later. In summary, you need money to buy items and then combine them to make them stronger. And to get money, you have to fight. Fighting is turn-based and you always start first. You can perform a normal attack or use your ability. On your turn, you can perform two actions, but you can't perform two attacks action. Once you perform an attack, your attack button changes to guard, and your ability changes its effect, which is often better than aggressive version in my opinion. Well, I forgot to add important thing, what convert do, and by pressing convert you can spend your two actions to transfer two items from shop to gain temporary boost to your stats within this one battle. Groups of enemies are divided into three lines, with larger groups, new enemy silhouettes appear behind the current active enemy. Remember when I said you can't attack twice in the same turn? That's not exactly correct, because if you defeat the front enemy with your first attack, and an active enemy takes their place, you can attack the new enemy again. But it only works for new unit that becomes active. There are various enemies in dungeons and with each floor they become stronger and more dangerous. Dungeons are based on rooms or stages and before going to another floor you have to beat every room first. At the end of the every floor there is a room with elite enemies and you probably understand what that means. If not, 
then they are just stronger and tougher to defeat. What is fun is that if they beat you, you become a ghost or some unnamed state of that creature and the current battle resets, allowing you to try again. If you defeat the enemies in that state, you win back your life and continue normally, as if nothing happened. However, if you die in that ghost state, you lose your run and you can leave a message. These messages can be collected by beating allied enemies. Sometimes they can be fun. And that's the whole story of them. Nothing less and nothing more. The simple art style and nice looking pixel art keeps everything clean, but somewhat empty. I played only the demo, but the game is a little bit too simple in its design. I mean, everything is visible, but beside the enemies and loot that you collect, nearly nothing else changes on the screen. The positive side of the visual setup is that it would run perfectly on Steam Deck. You can set your battery power consumption limit to the minimal option, and the game will still work very well, giving you more playtime on your battery. As for audio in the demo, there aren't many sounds beside your actions, enemy actions and nice, calm ambient sound while fighting in the dungeon. So probably I said everything about sounds now. Based on the demo, Megaloot still needs to improve a few things. I don't think I will play it for hundreds of hours, as you mostly do the same things repeatedly, however, it is fun to play and, in its current state, it's a great game for Steam Deck. The core mechanic works fine, but some enemies are much harder than others. Slords are my biggest enemy. Slord is a small, irritating creature that can automatically counter your damage if you attack them directly. As a warrior hero, you are simply dead if you counter a slord or even a worse, an elite slord. Developers have to balance it somehow. There are some tactics to use against them, like using the electricity bonus for indirect damage, but they still need some balance in my opinion. Even if it's current state, Megaloot is a good game. I don't think it's going to be massive hit. And I don't mean that the game is bad, it already has a growing community of players interested in the title. It is just fun. If you wanted to check the game out for yourself, you can find the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos about indie games. See you next time.